ESP and the Rivera go great together. Um, the one thing with DSP is it's got the maple top for the brightness and the mahogany back for the bottom chunk. The Rivera has everything I've been looking for in an amp. It has that that old school Marshall tight, kind of old school thrash sound that all the guys used to have, but it also has more of a modern bottom end chunk and saturation that a lot of heads, you, a lot of the new heads you don't get that combo very much. You either have, it's really got great saturation or bottom end or it has a really tight mids, but it's kind of missing some some chunk for the more modern sound. Yeah, this is uh, John Doney signature model. Um, Let's see here where we start. It's a maple top, mahogany back. Um, it's a mahogany neck. And what I do is I have them keep it unfinished because um, when you sweat a lot, if it's painted, you know, it gets all gucky and kind of sticky and disgusting. So with this, you can sweat as much as you want and, and it never really, really bothers my playing. Um, we got spurs of locking tuners on the back. Um, EMG 85, EMG 81. Um, I put the knob there because anyone who plays with me with their fingers out like this, you know, I'm doing fast alternate picking. A lot of guitars have the knob right there, and I would, um, hit it. I'd always hit it and turn the volume down, and it became annoying, so I had them push that back. Uh, having this kind of bridge, I love because you're leveled. It's not like a, a Les Paul where you're kind of forces you to have your arm come up a little bit, you're just completely leveled, it's real comfortable. And then in the back we have a little compartment for the EMG pickups, the, the battery right there, so it's easy to get in and out. Uh, and it's yeah, it's just a totally simple, easy guitar that feels and sounds great. Um, and Are all of your guitars reverse headstock like that too? Yes, for ESP. Yes. What's the new record called? When is it coming out? The new record is called Retribution, and it's out September 15th. This record has everything we've done in one record. It's got the heavier stuff, the melodic stuff, um, some some longer songs, more epic type stuff, and it also has some, some shorter rockers too. There was no boundaries. We started our own record label, so we don't have anybody looking over us or trying to give us input of, of where, where, where or what we should do. So, uh, yeah, we just went in the studio. Um, so you just, wrote everything without any outside influence whatsoever? Yeah, I mean, guys. yeah, it was great just to be like, all right, we don't have to listen to anybody. We, we make the decisions now, and this is what we want to do. How do you usually start the process? Do you write alone? Do you guys write together as a band? or What usually happens is Matt, Matt and I will usually get together and demo a skeleton of a song. We bring it to the other guys, and then we keep working on it until we're all happy. And the, lyric, and the singer does the lyrics? Yes. Yeah. But Brian, Matt, and I all write vocal melodies, so we'll all get together for the melodies, and Brian will write the lyrics too. And did you use the ESP and the Rivera on that record? Right yeah, uh, for the record, I use uh, my natural ESP that some of you might have seen me play live, and the Rivera is all the rhythm tracks and all the lead tracks on the whole record. We'll be going out. Uh, I believe we start September 24th. We're doing um, a U.S. tour and. The Rivera and the ESP will be on stage every night with me. So